Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to be starting another mini-series, so I've got videos to release in tandem with the fire-making videos, and this one's going to be kind of a weird concept for a lot of you guys, because uh, I go to school and you don't. But this is going to be uh, school EDC type items, but more than that, this is um, sort of an exploration into the idea of just having stuff with you that isn't necessarily connected to the knives, guns, tactical thing that you enjoy. And, uh, you know, people say ignorant things, like you can't buy happiness, and to some extent that's really true, and in other ways I don't believe it is. You know, I believe that part of your recreational money can go into stuff that you enjoy having with you, and you can get some joy out of that. So, uh, down here we have the stuff that uh, I carry to school on a day-to-day -day basis, and um, the reason I'm making sort of an introduction video is I'm going to be having unboxings and reviews of items, mostly to replace the items that you guys see here with the exception of this stuff. So these three items mostly are going to be replaced and have items reviewed. And uh, so to that end, I thought I'd just show this. And I have my wallet. It's a Metallica wallet I got for Christmas quite a while ago. It used to be all black and just have the pink around the Metallica and the star. Now it's all pink. Um, so there, there's another example of just something that, you know, it's not that I bought happiness, but it's it's just a material item that does make me happy on a day-to-day -day basis to have something that I can remember from years ago and that has a direct memory associated with it. And uh, for the iPod, you know, the same thing of I get a lot of joy from listening to music, and uh, I did buy the iPod, and my dad mostly bought the music. So, you know, there's just kind of proof-of-concept type stuff. Here's the phone, which I, I do kind of hate. I don't recommend it. Um, but I carry it nonetheless. And here are the main three items I want to focus on. Uh, I have a Leatherman Skeletool, I believe you guys have seen before. Since then I've taken the knife off so that I could carry it to school. Um, I have this watch. I forget the brand name, but it doesn't matter because I don't recommend it. It's actually kind of cool. It's one of the uh, snap style watches. But it's already started to break and it doesn't keep time very well. So it's mostly just so that I can fidget around with it in class. Um, which is, you know, another, another type thing of something you can do with a little bit of money that might give you a more enjoyable experience day to day at some place like school or, you know, at your job. Um, so this will be replaced probably with a Casio G-Shock. They do have a green one. I'll probably end up with a black one just so I can wear it more often than I would end up wearing a green one. Um, but that's been fun for me to fidget with these first few weeks of school. Here I have a Zebra Pen. F701. Um, this is going to be replaced first and foremost by a couple of Fisher Space Pens. I've already ordered one of them. I intend on ordering a few more. Um, if you've never had a quality writing utensil that you've gotten to keep with you for quite a while, you might want to pick one of these up. I do think it's kind of fun and also just practical to be able to have a writing instrument that you're used to the way it writes and it writes consistently and it doesn't break. Um, I actually break quite a few pens by sitting down with them in my back pocket. Uh, this pen is full steel construction throughout, so you don't have to worry about that. Also, heavier pens you lose less often, just as a general observation. So uh, I carry one of these I have most of the way through middle school and high school. If you've never had a quality writing instrument, you might want to start here, uh, unless you have more money to invest, and uh, then you can look forward to the Fisher, Fisher Space Pen videos. And here I have the neutered Leatherman Skeletool, um, which you guys have seen before. As far as multi-tools go, it's not a huge amount of capability, but I like how you can clip it onto your pocket. I like that it's compact, and it does give you screwdriver and plier capability, which a lot of people, if you have a job or if you go to school or university where you're not allowed to carry a knife, it will give you a lot of capability that most people won't have. Um, and that's really cool just kind of from the Boy Scout perspective of always being prepared. And, uh, I don't know. I enjoy it. I enjoy knowing that I have some capability that maybe not everybody has, and I think it's a very valid thing. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this with a another Leatherman tool, the Style PS or CS or whichever one doesn't have the knife on board, so again, that I can carry it at school. Um, so you guys can look forward to those videos. I know I said just a little bit ago that I wasn't going to launch back into miniseries, but... Um, it's kind of easier this way when I've got so much school and soccer and stuff to deal with to be able to sit down and record a plug of videos and then time release them over a couple days. So you guys can look forward to these. There'll be unboxings first and then reviews. And uh, 
I think that's about all I got. Stay tuned for more of the same.